Hey guys, now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how the X-Tool S1 Laser Engraver engraves glass. We're actually using two products to see which one yields the best results, and we're gonna see how the process works. Now, this is a glass cutting board, which is a very popular item, and we're gonna engrave it, as you can see here, and come up with a nice frosty look to highlight the logo or the monogram that you'd like to put on it. So, let's get right to it. Now, to engrave glass, you have to prep the surface with one of two materials. Uh, we use this product right here that you can see here to actually engrave the white lettering that you saw, right? So all we did is we sprayed the surface with this, and I'm going to show you what we did uh, to get the white. Now, we're going to attempt to get black lettering, and we're going to do the black lettering by using a different product. Now, this product is what you typically would use when you're going to be doing uh, laser engraving on metal for black marking. So we're going to see how this is going to work on the actual glass itself. Now, what we did, and you're going to see this is the one uh, that I just showed you. This is the one that we just did, and it came out really, really nice. This is a glass cutting board. What we did is we flipped the cutting board on its back like this, and we spray painted or, or sprayed this area right here. And the, the spray will come off with water easily. Now, we did that because this is the side that we're going to engrave. Now, in order to make sure that the engraving aligns correctly, what you'll want to do is make sure that in the software you flip the image, and you're going to see that in a second. So you'll notice here on my X-Tool S1, I have this alignment jig that I created that basically is going to keep the products that I put here aligned perfectly. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Creative uh, Suite so you can see how it works. Now, as we look at the Creative Space software, uh, there's a couple things I did here. First of all, I created a rectangle, a square, that represents the size of the cutting board, and I put the image inside of it. The second thing I did is I set the parameters for the image to be 60 for power, 100 for speed, and then the resolution is 140. Those are the parameters I use. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the alignment tool to align the the actual cutting board that I have here and you can see where my targeting pointer is and also I need to change or actually check the actual thickness of the material so let's go ahead and do that first all right so the first thing we're going to do is check the actual depth of the material so I'm going to go ahead and click on this button right here it's going to check the actual depth of the material and we're set now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my alignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start, and I'm gonna move the actual pointer. Now the next step is to check my alignment. Now the next step is we'll, the next step is to set our alignment. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna align this with this corner right here. That looks pretty good to me. We're gonna bring us down now to the bottom. That looks good now. We're going to go back to the software and hit done. Now you'll notice that in the software, this is the quadrant. I have two boxes now, and I'm going to basically hide this one so you don't see it. So here we have the actual box that represents the beginning point and the end point that we just defined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the box that I created, this one right here, and I'm going to put it over here uh, so that it aligns with this one. And you notice it's almost there. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. right? So this is going to be the area in which I'm going to do my alignment. Next, I'm going to grab this image that I have, and I'm going to align it right in the center. And the cool thing is that with the XTool software, it's automatically going to snap into position. That represents the center of the board. Uh, so next, all we have to do is engrave. Now, before doing any kind of engraving, I highly recommend that you do a framing just to make sure that you have things aligned like you like it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So this is gonna show us exactly where the image is gonna be engraved. And you'll notice also that what we did was we cleaned off the surface with alcohol. We also then sprayed it using that uh, spray. So again, we use this one right here. And let's see how things turned out. All right, we'll go ahead and wash this up and see what we have. Now, one of the things I like doing when I'm engraving glass, especially cutting boards, is I do the bottom. That way, this, the top part where you're going to be doing all the cutting and you may want to clean is not impaired or affected at all by the engraving that we're going to do. All right, so let's take a look and see what the results are. So we're going to go ahead. I put some black paper here in the background so that it's easier to see. 
but you can see this came out really sharp. We didn't get black as I was hoping. We got somewhat of a gray, uh, but with the light, it does look more white, but this, this looks really, really good. You can see by the handle here, uh, there was kind of like a somewhat of a transition, like I was trying to get black, so I didn't quite get black. I think I could probably get a little bit darker, uh, playing a little bit with the settings like power and speed. But all in all, I am digging that look. That looks really, really nice. And then again, this was the original, that one that we did with just the chalk spray. This one came out pretty nice uh, as well. So that's how you can engrave glass on the X-Tool S1 laser engraver. The one thing I will tell you is that keeping these things clean, it's a pain. I can't keep my fingerprints off of it. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.